straight from the card. In general, foundations tend to give grant money for projects that have specific outcomes or than operating costs. Can you advise our local foundation on how to change that paradigm, fund operations rather than specific projects? And this is a constant push and pull within every foundation in America, I think. Um, and I, I have my own perspective, particularly in, in the, the, the rural kind of landscape of, of the value and the need for funding general operating support. Uh, but Jen, you want to take that? Sure, and I do work in that landscape, and I would love to hear yours before we get <laughs> off the stage. Um, so we do recognize that, and our board, like every other board, has a, a bias towards wanting to do the new and exciting and sexy thing. Um, where it is most powerful is when we do engage with the community, we facilitate groups, we pull groups together. It's incredibly powerful when a board member's in the room and we ask community members and nonprofits, what do you need? And they say directly to our board, we need general operating support. It has to be said and it has to come from the nonprofits. I mean, as staff, we can say it over and over, but it's so powerful. We just recently convened um, all the art and music teachers in elementary and middle schools and said, look, what would you guys do with a $1,000 mini grant? And they went, we don't want your $1,000 mini grant. We don't, we need more. We need ongoing support. If you care about music and education, we need more than that. And that was incredibly powerful. And it changed our whole paradigm about what we're going to do around that. So um, one of the things that we do, because we're a small local funder, is we ask our um, partners, and a lot of times we help with this, I feel like a matchmaker, to bring other funds to the table to leverage so that we can be general operating support and see some innovation happening. And so that, that works for us. If we can be the general operating support and they can bring in extra money to do the exciting thing, that's great. It doesn't always work, but I do spend probably 40% of my time calling other foundations, spinning, selling, matchmaking, trying to find that spark somewhere for our grantees. Well, I think sometimes if we're not careful, uh, foundations can uh, probably un un definitely unintentionally set nonprofits up for failure because of um, expectations and arbitrary timelines that are come into play. We're going to fund this program and we're going to fund it for three years and then we're going to turn and go in another direction and fund another program for another purpose for three years. And if you do that constantly, then you've set up or help fund programs for a short period of time that are left to their own sustainability over time. And I think that's, that's challenging and, and, and difficult and, and something that uh, we, we as funders have to be mindful of in, on an ongoing basis that, that when we invest, I mean, just think about it. You can, it's going to be hard for you to carry out a program if you can't keep the lights on, right? You know, you can't, you can't uh, operate very well to a program if you can't pay the staff or pay the rent or the other basic operational needs of a nonprofit. So I, f I feel like the needle has been moved on that generally in philanthropy from where it was earlier on, where it just seemed like it was all program and no operational to more of a, a, a better balance, not the perfect balance, we're not there yet, but it, we're seeing some positive change in that direction. Two points on this. One is I think it's much easier to do general operating support when you're clear about what it is that you're trying to see in the world happen. And then you just find those organizations that are mission aligned and you give them general operating support. The second point, and, and I think foundations are notorious for either flavor of the month, you know, whatever is the hot, sexy thing, or chasing the, the new, you know, exciting kind of thing. If you're just clear, you use your values and your mission and your vision to be clear about what you're trying to see. Go find, there, there are, I'm sure, organizations in your community that are doing that mission-aligned work. The second is this fallacy between program and operating. I've actually been trying to get my board to think about there isn't program and operating, there's program period, because you can't, as you said, run a program without all the other basic things. And that goes for the foundation as well. You know, we've been saying to the board, my program staff, actually everybody except a portion of my time and a portion of my CFO's time, are program costs. 
the not operating cost. And I think the longer that philanthropy and nonprofit will continue to operate in that world, we're going to kid ourselves that we, we, we can't or shouldn't do general operating support. It's a critical, critical piece. And um, I can't remember which of our association groups in philanthropy, but one of them has been tracking the amount of or percentage of general ops. Mm -hmm. We're still far from where we need to be. Right. Um, movement is in the right direction, but. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm.